If you'd like to support the creation of this content, please click on the link below. We are not in competition. It's one vision, one mission, one African pride. Africa, it's a jungle na nani. I recently covered the Kingdom of Dahomey in a prior video covering the history of their kingdom. This video will cover the all-female regiment of the Dahomey Kingdom who referred to themselves as Mino, which in their fond language means our mothers. But the Europeans referred to these women soldiers as Amazons. The Dahomey Amazons are of the Fon tribe and their kingdom of Dahomey is located in present-day Benin. Their kingdom lasted until the end of the 19th century. The West had referred to the all-female regiment as Amazons due to the similarity to the semi-mythical Amazons of ancient Anatolia and the Black Sea. It is believed that King Wegbaja, who ruled the Kingdom of Dahomey from 1645 AD to 1685, originally started the group which would become the Amazons as a corps of elephant hunters called the Jebeto. Wegbaja's son, King Agaja, who ruled from 1708 to 1732, established a all-female bodyguard group armed with muskets and according to oral history, King Agaja developed the bodyguards into a militia and successfully used them in Dahomey's defeat of the neighboring kingdom of Savi in 1727. From the time of King Gezo, who ruled from 1818 to 1858, the kingdom of Dahomey became more and more militaristic. King Gezo placed great importance on his army, increasing its budget and formalizing its structure from ceremonial to a serious military regiment. King Gezo recruited both men and women soldiers from foreign captives, though the women soldiers were also recruited from the Dahomey women. Some of the recruits also came from the king's wives, in which there are in the hundreds. Some women in the, ki in the kingdom became soldiers voluntarily, and some became soldiers involuntarily. Membership into the military regiment was supposed to hone any aggressive character traits for the purpose of war. While the women were part of the military regiment, they were not allowed to have children or be part of married life. Many of them were virgins. The regiment had a semi-sacred status, which was intertwined with the fun belief in voodoo. The Mino trained with fierce physical exercise and discipline was emphasized. Serving within this military regiment offered the women the opportunity to rise to positions of command and influence. These women soldiers were rigorously trained, given uniforms, and equipped with Danish guns obtained from the slave trade. By the mid-19th century, the women numbered between 1,000 and 6,000, which were which was about one-third of the entire Dahomey army. There are some accounts that note each male soldier had a Mino counterpart. As time went on, the Mino were armed with Winchester rifles, clubs, and knives. The units were under the female command. Captives 
who fell into the hands of the Mino were often decapitated. In the war against France in the port city of Contenu in March of 1890, one of the Dahomey warriors decapitated the French chief gunner and another Amazon who was captured and disarmed killed her captor by biting him in the throat. In 1892, the kingdom of Dahomey was defeated by France and the French soldiers said they were impressed by the Amazon's courage and audacity in combat and that they performed with wonders of bravery and extreme valor. The last surviving Amazon of the Dahomey Kingdom is said to have been a woman named Nawi, who died in 1979. The Amazons of Dahomey was the inspiration for the Dora Milaje women warriors from the first Black Panther movie. We are not in competition. It's one vision, one mission, one African pride.